Hi, I'm Tammy, this is Freddie. We've been together since Freddie was eight weeks old. Freddie went through puppy training and further training and it was quite apparent very soon that he was becoming aggressive towards other dogs and humans. The trainers at the group that I was attending couldn't help me. I was out walking and a lady suggested that I came to see Nia at Dogmore. Um, I came over to see Nia and whereas before we'd always used reward and ignore training, Nia used uh, reinforcement training. At no time was Freddie traumatised, upset or hurt in this process. I now have a dog who's happy and relaxed, happy with humans, happy with other dogs and I can quite safely let people into my house. So we're all happy all round. This is Bella. She's seven years old and Dave and I um, adopted her from a rescue centre a year ago. Um, when we got her, we realised very quickly that she had some major behavioural issues. She was very frightened of other dogs and people that she didn't know. Um, she was very aggressive in trying to defend herself and keep people and dogs away from her. Um, we realised pretty quickly that we needed um, some help to deal with her issues, so we contacted a trainer who uses positive reinforcement training as a method of trying to deal with the aggressive behaviour. Um, we were advised to use, um, to try and keep Bella away from her triggers, the dogs and other people, um, and to ignore any bad behaviour that she uh, displayed, um, basically to try and run away from anything she didn't like. Um, and to try and keep her at a distance from everything that she didn't like. We were also to try and counter condition her by um, feeding her high value treats such as cheese and sausage whenever she saw something she didn't like. Um, and we were advised that over time we should be getting closer and closer to the dogs and people um, and she would be getting better. Um, we persevered with that for about six months and we saw absolutely no improvement in her behaviour. She was, if anything, getting worse. She was becoming more stressed, um, both on walks and in everyday life. Um, and it was becoming very stressful for us um, to take her out for walks because she was really quite dangerous um, around other people. She was lunging, snapping, barking. Um, really quite difficult to handle on a daily walk. Um, we were at the end of our tethers um, didn't know what to do and we were advised to try contacting Nia at Dogmore um, to see if he could help and we brought her along and Bella displayed her aggressive tendencies on, at her assessment um, but Nia said he could help and we were advised to stop her in her aggressive behaviour because she needed to learn that um, she wasn't that if she didn't display those behaviours, that she would still be safe, that she wasn't protecting herself by behaving that way, and that if she didn't do it, nothing bad would happen. Um, and so that's what we did, um, both here at Dogmore and on our walks at home. Um, and the difference has been remarkable. Um, she's a completely different dog to how she was. It's easy to take her for a walk now. She'll let other dogs come up to her and sniff at her um, and greet her. She's happy to walk past people and to have people near her. She's a totally different dog, completely different. It's a total change in her behaviour. And now she's a wonderful, almost stress-free dog. <laughs>